Hi you guys, this is Toya from Planning and Teaching. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have checked out my trailer. It should be up and posted right now. And it is the featured video on my channel. So let's go ahead and jump into our first plan with me in 2018 in our teacher edition, Happy Planner. I go back to school on tomorrow and I decided to change Teacher Tuesday to school Sundays and just because I wanted to make sure that I had this uploaded on Sundays for the teachers who follow me. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. So first off, I do have a new set of stickers that I'm using um, this week and if you guys want to see how I created these stickers, let me know in the comment section below and I will do one for Tutorial Thursday. So anyway, let's go on into January and you guys, first off, I don't know where my um, dashboard for January is. I, I'm assuming it was lost in the, just the move and the switch from one section to another section. So I believe it was lost. So anyway, no dashboard for January, but I have gone ahead and set up things that I have going on. Um, this week, so I will be in my monthly first. So we're going to set up today, as I said, the monthly section as well as the week. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this out and move this out of the way. Some things that I decided to do differently in this monthly section um, is identify skills and things that I plan on covering for the entire month and um, some skills that I want to work on. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to this note section and I'm looking for um, just a sticker that kind of have like some checklists on it. And I'm going to grab these checklist stickers these checklist stickers and this is out of everyday plans and that's a purple one so i don't think i'm going to use that one so i'm going to pull i think the yellow will look good with it so i'm going to pull the yellow one for here and i'm going to pull Uh, a great one and put it down here all right and then in between there I'm going to place a sticker and hopefully this one will fit it seems impossible until it's done by Nelson Mandela. Oh, this perfect. It fell in the right place. Okay. All right. Some things that I decided to do differently in this monthly section um, is identify skills and things that I plan on covering for the entire month and um, some skills that I want to work on. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to this note section and I'm looking for um, just a sticker that kind of have like some checklists on it and I'm going to grab these checklist stickers these checklist stickers and this is out of everyday plans and that's a purple one so I don't think I'm going to use that one so I'm going to pull I think the yellow will look good with it. So I'm going to pull the yellow one for here. And I'm going to pull a, a great one. And put it down here. All right. And then in between there, I'm going to place a sticker and hopefully this one will fit it seems impossible until it's done by Nelson Mandela oh this perfect it fell 
in the right place, okay? All right. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and mark off some things that I have going on for this week. So I need my loose stickers. These are seasonal. So. I have a have the end of winter break. I'm going to put this sticker on the 7th. Um We have a staff development day on the 8th, so I'm going to lay that here. Actually, I'm going to pull that one up. And I'm going to put professional development down. <clears throat> okay. And I'm looking for a sticker that says students return. But I think all of these came out of an old... So let me look at my teacher sticker book. I'm going to grab this time to grade sticker in this light blue flag and I'm going to put that here. I'm going to grab this little square and I'm going to put it right here on top of the ninth. Then I'm going to take, I have some number stickers that I'm not using that came out of an extension pack and I'm going to grab the number nine and lay it right there. And then I'm going to grab a blank box and I'm going to write students return and I'm, I wrote it in that coral color so that it will kind of stand out a little bit. Yep, love the way that looks. Um, then we have a day off on We have a day off for Martin Luther King, so I'm going to put, indicate that with a no school sticker in this pink color. I'm going to turn it sideways. I like the way that looks. Okay, cool. All right. So, 
notes. Now, I want to just kind of indicate what I'm going to be um, doing this month as a whole before our lesson plan. So, um, I know that we're going to be starting a new novel. So, we're starting Johnny Tremaine novel. So, that means we're also going to be doing the American Revolution. And social studies. Um, we are also going to be in language. We're going to be um, talking about paragraph writing. Well, that's in writing. We're going to be talking about paragraph writing. And then in language, we're going to be talking about um, sentences. And we're going to be talking about homophones. I also want to implement a character trait of the day. We're going to do a character trait of the day. We're going to do a um, character trait of the day. And we're going to do um, daily sheets. Okay. Social studies, we're going to be dealing with the American Revolution. And I also want to get, um, I want to grade a full written assignment. I'm also going to start back issuing homework. And then I want to do my monthly newsletter and I need to get that done tomorrow um, on tomorrow all right so there we go I have a plan so what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate my novel study with a silver um, washi tape okay study in this little box here that doesn't have a number in it so that way I know that this is my novel study and this will in to tell me when I will be doing my novel study okay I love that all right the next thing I'm going to do I have grades due on that Monday so on tomorrow are some grades do stickers somewhere well I found some do stickers and these are cute so I'm gonna grab those so I'm gonna put do here at the bottom and I'm gonna write grades on top and they're due at 8 a.m. Alright, so now we're ready to go ahead and get started with our third nine weeks. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead and do the week number three. It's going to be 3.1 because that means that we're in third nine weeks, first week of the third nine weeks, okay? And then I have my stickers, of course. I'm going to go ahead and lay those down really quickly. So now I'm 
I'm going to indicate where we go for activity. We go to the computer lab on Thursdays. We go to the library on Wednesdays. This semester we are going to um, Instead of art this semester, we have music. And we go to PE twice a week. So we go on Monday and we go on Friday. So I'm going to quickly write those in. So we go to PE. And we go to music. All right. So since we're going to be out this week, I'm probably just going to do a little bit of decorating there. But what I want to do is get the core part of my um, teaching sections done. I definitely want to label my top three um, for reading because reading is, is the core component. For writing, what I want to focus on. And what I want to focus on in language and what we're going to focus on in social studies. Okay. I'm going to grab this Let's Be Grateful sticker and I'm going to layer it behind a colorful box if we have it. Actually, I'm going to put Let's Be Grateful on this side. And then this sticker that says Start Today with a Smile over here. Alright, I have a Long Weekend sticker that I'm going to put put down here um, at the bottom because we come back to school and then we leave for uh, we have another four day week next week so I have Monday off again Okay, so now I'm going to just grab these flags out of this sticker book. No. I'm going to grab my flags out of my yellow sticker book, and I'm going to grab... Pink. I don't have any yellows. I have one green left. And I'm going to grab coral. Okay. And I'm going to lay that down on Wednesday. And then um, for social studies, I'm just going to use these yellow icons because if you guys know um, from our previous videos, we use um, 
a newspaper called Social Studies Weekly. So I just indicate what articles we're going to be reading. What do I have going on? So, so for small group, I'm going to use one of my favorite stickers, which are the um, clipboards. But I have to find them first. I need this remember sticker for Monday for myself. So I'm going to layer it on top of this. Let's be grateful right there. Um, and I'm going to grab this top priority sticker and place it right over here too. So I will remember. Okay. So it's not in this one. So it's in the green sticker book. Yeah. I don't think I want to use the gold ones for this spread. And I want to definitely go to small group. And then I'm going to grab this one, this to do, and lay it on Friday. Okay, so then I'm just going to grab My everyday plan sticker book. And I'm going to make notes on things that I want um, to get done as far as like um, teacher paperwork, that sort of thing. I really want to stay on top of um, all of that. All right, so I'm gonna leave miscellaneous open because there may be something that um, I find out throughout the week that I wanna add um, to it. But I will use like a few circle stickers in between. And this make it work sticker, I love it. I'm gonna lay that right there. Okay, so here is my before the pin spread. So I'm gonna move some of my stickers out of the way so you guys can actually see it. So now I'm ready to write. So first of all, I need to remember tier documentation. Have that prepared. All right, so very important, I need to make sure that I give my students background information for Johnny Tremaine. Um, 
I want to also provide my students with a um, checklist of what I will be doing and what I expect of them with my expectations. And I also want to make sure we get through chapter one. Okay, so writing, we want to focus on the components. as a whole for narrative writing. Okay, and for, for um, language, we want to focus on, um, we want to focus on sentence creation. So sentences is what I want to do. So now I have my focus for the start of the week, which is going to be on Tuesday for me. Now I can break down some other things that I want to do. So we definitely want to um, review chapter one. And we want to start talking about character development. We want to talk about mood. We want to talk about tone and then trait of the day. Thursday, um, we want to review chapter one and we want to read chapter two. Now, if I don't finish, I'm going to say one half. So we're going to complete another half of chapter two. And we're going to review. Again, we're going to be talking about character development. And we're going to cover the trait of the day. And then we're going to start on one half of chapter three. We're going to finish up chapter three. We're going to review. We're going to do some character development. We're going to do trade of the day and I am going to test them. I'm going to give them a quiz on chapters one through three and a character development quick check. 15 questions. And I, when I say 15 questions, I mean for the entire quiz. Okay. Um, focus on all the components of narrative writing as a whole, and then we're going to break it down into, we're going to talk about first person, a third person, so they can decide, and we're going to talk about hooking our readers, and then we're going to do some independent practice. Um, we're going to continue to talk about hooking our readers. And we're going to um, partner edit, edit, and we're going to independently practice on revising. Um, but, and this is going to be the fourth thing we do. This is going to be the third thing we do. This will be the second thing we do. And the first thing that we're going to do is reviewing um, what it means to um, revise and what it means to edit. Okay. So and then on this piece, we are going to write a hook for narrative piece. Um, and we're going to use a rubric to do it. And they're going to turn it in. Okay. And so I'm going to make myself a note to have those graded and give it back to them by grade and return by 116. 
All right, so in language, we're gonna be focusing on sentences. So I'm gonna review the sentences that we've covered. So we've covered simple, we've covered compound, and we've covered complex sentences. And we're gonna do a review. Um, we're going to indicate simple, compound, and complex sentences in, in partner writing. And then we are going to um, revise and include one simple, two compound, and two complex. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move on to social studies. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing. As you can see, I have my focus for Tuesday. Then I have a kind of a checklist situation for Wednesday through Friday. Now, some things really didn't need a checklist like this one didn't need a checklist. Um, and this one didn't need a checklist. So I may include checklist um, as I'm writing versus before. Okay, so we're going to focus on the American Revolution. Um, but I don't want to really include too much about it. So I'm just going to give them, um, background knowledge. So that'll be done during reading. And then here we will look at article one. And then we want to compare it to our novel. So we're just, we're going to really take this week super slow. So we're going to be looking at article one all this week and comparing it to our novel. All right. So, um, small groups on Tuesday is going to be my low group. one and low group two and then I want to meet with my medium group okay and I'm going to be using my already data so I'm going to be doing that on each one of these And here, I'm going to be on Friday working on tier two. Okay, I'm gonna be working on tier two. I'm going to be pulling students who struggled with our lesson this week. And then I'm going to pull students who f flag on already on Friday. Okay. So then I'm going to meet with my medium group number two. I'm going to meet with a low group number one. And I'm going to meet with my high group because I only have one of those. On here, I'm going to meet with low group two. And I'm going to meet with medium group one. And I'm going to meet with low group one. Okay, so this is something new that I'm trying um, to meet with my low group three times a week and kind of break down everything that we're doing. Um, so I want to focus on here, I already data, I already data. 
but when I get here I'm probably going to instead of focusing on our ready data so let me get out of that instead of focusing on our ready data I want to focus on current lesson just to see where they are how they're doing how they're coping with everything and this will be good before quizzes on Friday so some things I want to get done this week I definitely want to make sure I have tier prepared first I want to um, get grades in by Friday. Um, I need to also uh, make sure my newsletter is prepared. And I also need to um, call um, eight parents this week and what I'm trying to do for my call log is I want to call I want to make four good calls at least okay all right you guys so that's gonna wrap up my plan with me video in my teacher edition happy planner so thanks so much for watching you guys give this video a thumbs up if there's something else that you would like to see just let me know i'll be happy to include that um i'm gonna put a little sticker here it looks a little blank um again give this video a thumbs up click the bell for notifications definitely click that red subscribe button thanks so much for watching you guys keep god first in everything you do and happy planning and teaching you guys bye